<laughs> Hello, welcome to Marriage Minutes. Is that better? He said I was dry last time. Am I dry? No, you're not dry. Okay, today on Marriage Minutes, really? Today on Marriage Minutes, we are going to talk about emotional baggage and triggers. Like he's triggering me right now because <laughs> he's aggravating me and I'm having some emotions that are stirring up from my past. All right, emotional baggage, what is that? Okay, all of us have it. It is a result of things that we have gone through as a child or in a previous relationship that we emotionally really carry with us into our next relationship. Yeah, we, we pack it up, we put it in the backpack. Right. And we, like Dora the Explorer, we, re, we wear that thing. Right, so it could be maybe your experience of having being sexually abused or maybe your parents divorcing when you were a child or maybe them having money issues when you were a child and not having enough or you being abandoned maybe by a parent or being rejected by one or the other all of those things collectively are called emotional baggage and maybe they're not things that you think about on a daily basis but they are certainly things that have helped to mold and shape who you are, and most importantly, probably how you interact and react in marriage, which leads to then what triggers these emotional bags. What are triggers? Oh, that was, oh, okay, triggers. That was a segue. Segway, yeah, I got triggered. Um, you'll find triggers based upon what you pack in your own backpack uh, within the confines of the marriage there'll be interaction or there'll be things that, that take place that may trigger you to respond a certain way, not necessarily because of your spouse, but because of the situation and the emotion tied to that interaction with your spouse. So for example, uh, if you, uh, if you're, if you deal with abandonment issues, and so there may be situations in which you feel rejected by your spouse. And so, it may be very minimal, but that interaction or that trigger of rejection will necessarily take you back to a place where you felt that rejection at a young age or whatever point in your life. And so a lot of times in relationships and in marriages, a lot of it is just shooting back and forth or triggering each other based upon our interaction. And some of it is uh, subconsciously and some of it can be intentional. But uh, I think the main thing is to really recognize and, and kind of start to unpack your own knapsack or backpack uh, to figure out what's going on. Yeah, and we discovered all of our emotional baggage and the triggers that we were causing one another in counseling. So we found out that we were in this trigger cycle. And so what we were in counseling for really didn't have anything to do with it per se, it was more how we were responding to it. So when I felt like Mark was not being attentive or maybe he was involved more with other people than he was with me, that 12 year old little girl who felt like her father left her and left her alone or left her feeling like she didn't have the security that she needed as a child, she's triggered. And so this 50 some year old woman is not responding to him it's that 12 year old girl responding to him and so for a long time all of my anger would be amplified it would be it, it, it should have been a two on whatever was going on with us but it ended up being a 12 because I was bringing all of that baggage into the relationship he has triggers too I don't know why he's trying to act like he doesn't but we were in a trigger, trigger cycle trigger cycle so how do we get out of that though? Let's talk about that. Cause we all know we got baggage. We all, we just explain what triggers are and how it can be so dysfunctional in a marriage. And if you don't recognize it, you will, you could continue in this cycle forever and ever and ever, but there's a solution. Yeah. The solution is, I think basically each person has to do their own work. Uh, they have to really sit down and really analyze where they are and, and kind of go back and, and, look at those parts of their lives in which they were scarred emotionally and then start to deal with it. Uh, it may be some self-reflection, but it also may be uh, just having a conversation with that person who would hurt you, you know, if it's a parent, you know, and just kind of nothing else, 
being able to get that off your chest and ex express yourself because a lot of it is when you're a child, you felt like though you didn't have a voice. And so now that you have a voice as an adult, you may uh, want to have dialogue or even honestly, you may not even be able to interact with the person that caused that, that pain or that emotion. So sometimes I hate to say it, you just need to sit down and talk to God uh, and really just get it off uh, and to say it. Sometimes having that release verbally will really start the breakdown of everything that you've been carrying in your life. Because a lot of it is, we just think that's the way we are, but a lot of it is character flaws that have manifested because of these emotional uh, hemorrhaging that we've been doing on the inside. Hemorrhaging. Yeah. Kind of yeah. I just but made I, it I got it. You got it? It's, it's just, I don't know if you all remember that, that little girl who was in her car and she was trying to, so hard to put her seatbelt on and her dad or somebody was helping her. She was like, no, worry about yourself. Worry about yourself. That's really what you can do to eliminate the emotional bag, the, the intensity of the emotional baggage in your relationship and the triggers. Worry about yourself. Do some self-work. Realize that when I'm responding to Mark in that way, is it really all him? It's about self-reflection and it's about being aware. It's about being woke to yourself. How about that? Oh, wow. Woke to yourself. Woke to, to yourself. yourself. Not to, to what's yourself. going on in the world. Not woke. to what's going on with your spouse. Be woke to yourself. Woke. That's right. Woke. All right. I'm done. So, so then you need to... Uh, woke. So that's what we have to say about emotional baggage and triggers at yes. his page. Be well. Be blessed. Peace. Thank you.